Hello my beautiful people, Sweet Sandy J coming back at you. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Welcome back to my channel. Yay, I remembered. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much to all of my new subscribers. I am home today. I got one day off and I am just pilling around the house doing all kinds of things. I ran to food line yesterday to pick up my mom some water and some lettuce and while I was there I picked up myself about eight jugs of diet tonic water some watermelon slices just to cut up to have in my salad a head of iceberg lettuce a nice beautiful pretty tomato and a cucumber because I have not had a salad in so long and Beth from Frugal Mama in the Woods. Y'all go over and, t and check out her channel and tell her sweet Sadie J sent you. She's always making salads and I have, it's been so long. So I finally got me some stuff for a salad. Of course, I got my blueberry or my blackberries and my strawberries. They had the strawberries on sale for three for five dollars yesterday and the blackberries I think were two for something. I don't know. I forgot what it said. I just had to, no, that wasn't the right receipt. Okay, and then I got me some waffle sweet potato fries because I want to try them in my air fryer. Man, I'm telling y'all, this air fryer's got me, I mean, wide open. Y'all hear me? I am just like kicking myself for waiting so long before I purchased one. And the only thing that stopped me from getting one when they first came out was the fact that my counters were already overloaded and I have like almost every gadget you know I've got the food processors the toasters the George Foreman grills the KitchenAid mixers <laughs> the ninjas you know I I, I just didn't want to <sighs> but I am so mad that I waited so long because this thing I'm getting ready to make these chicken wings again because I enjoyed the first batch of chicken wings that I bought that I made in the air fryer, I'm getting ready to make another set because I still have cabbage left over from my last dinner. And this pineapple came from my job. I'm not really sure if it's still good, but I'm going to try to prep this, all this fruit and put it in its rightful containers to put it in the fridge. So when I want fruit as a side with my breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's already, you know, prepped. So, and these are... This is a bad thing. These are the cupcakes that I had left over from making cupcakes for my cousin for graduation. I think there's like seven cupcakes in there. And this is the, one of those little containers that you buy from the Dollar Tree. The Sure Fresh ones. They're so cute, y'all. I never bought the cupcake one before. So that's my first one. Again, if I don't get this back, I don't care. So these are the extra cupcakes that I had. I put some buttercream on them and then put some sprinkles on them. And, as I said before, I'm all over the place. There's my dishwater. If y'all hear anything, that's my AC going on. I'm doing laundry. Oh, somebody help me, please. <laughs> so, I'm doing laundry. I'm taking laundry out of the washer and putting it in the dryer. So many things going on at one time. Pants. But I gotta go get the water first. Whew. Finally took down my Mother's Day stuff because I needed the counter space yesterday to sit the cupcakes up so they could um, cool. So you know, on my cooling racks, I had to set them up and already half of my counter space is already taken up. But I'm gonna get my water, which I have a big one and I have a small one. The big one's just a little too heavy for me, so I just use the small one. We're gonna go out here. And we're gonna water these thirsty, thirsty plants, even though it rained all week long. Just one day of sunshine. And these plants are like, we're thirsty, mommy, we're thirsty. So, mommy's gonna give them something to drink. Uh, let's see if you guys can see this. I'm trying to water them. And they will drip through, but it's okay, it's no worries. Kind of hard trying to do it both with the camera because <laughs> I usually take these down and make sure I get the whole inside of it. And I usually have to do this about two or three times in this jug because, as you can see, they are thirsty. 
very very thirsty I moved my chair on my patio I moved it from over there to over here I don't know if I'm gonna leave it here or not I'm not sure yet we'll see because it's just easier for me to get in and out of my storage and I got that thing jam-packed now so I probably won't be going back in there until Christmas so to get all my Christmas stuff out Let's see when I water the plants if I give them too much water and it'll drip down on the chair so I'm not really sure if that's gonna be a good spot to leave them okay guys let butterfly all right I'll be right back okay I had to refill the little small container with the big one and I couldn't lift that heavy one without using two hands and I always use room temperature water to water all my plants indoor and outdoor because I do not like to shock them with cold water <laughs> so I always use that big one to fill this little small one in and we'll go out and finish watering the babies because it is seriously seriously warm out here today I'm gonna get her some more she really really looks dried out and this one some more And to be honest with you guys, these plants need to be watered at least every two days. You know, I try to stay on it. And my work schedule sometimes interferes. Me trying to do my YouTube, trying to care for my mother. You know, there's so many different things that, you know, come into play. It sometimes doesn't allow me to get out here every two days, but I try my best. I'm just going to give them a little nourishment, a little water. I really have not been into the plants this year because of my job, you know, so last year when I was just out here on my own, I could, I was really into it, but we've got some stuff coming up here. we got some spider webs over here. The chair is really over here because I was trying to get into my storage, but yeah, I'm going to have to come out here and clean this another time. Alright guys, I'm going to wash my hands and prep for my, prep my fruits. Alright, see you in a little while. Okay, my beautiful people, I am back. And I am sitting today. I hope you guys don't mind because my back is killing me. Every time I try to do any little thing, my back just feels like it's going to break into snap into and it's funny because it's only on the right side so and that's where I had my back fusion at so anywho I'm gonna put the chicken wings in the sink for right now because I'm gonna prep those later and I want to prep the fruit first and I'm gonna be using my pretty little cutting board from the Dollar Tree and of course I'm gonna put a towel down first and what I really want to do is just get the fruit and stuff prepped and put that to the side and then I want to make the salad so it's already done so when I come in from work you know everything is already prepped and all I have to do is make my plate so I'm going to be using my little lock and lock bowls that I got from QVC okay and I want to show you guys another item that I just recently purchased from QVC I haven't used it yet but I'm working on it so the first thing I'm going to do is my blackberries that bowl is probably too small, so we'll put the blackberries in this one. And we're going to rinse them off. Please forgive me for flickering all over the place. <laughs> but I'm trying my best to sit. Just to take a load off. I'm doing laundry. I'm watering plants. I got a vacuum floors. And I do have to clean the bathroom again. So, y'all know how it goes. Look at these beautiful blackberries, y'all. Are they not gorgeous? Look at that. I hope y'all can see that without all that glare. Is that that light over there? Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna rinse them under cold water. And by having them in these bowls where I can see them, it also helps me remember them so they don't just sit in there and turn to mush. And this is what they look like. All right. Okay, we we'll do something with that glare. Let's put that over there. How's that? Okay. And yes, 
I'm sitting in my computer chair because it rolls. Makes it much easier. Mm-hmm. 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 Before I became a diabetic, I used to put sugar on all my fruit and make that nice little juice. But of course, I don't do that anymore. So it's just all fresh fruit. And I can eat fruit with my breakfast, my lunch, or my dinner. Excuse me, I'm trying to pick one up. And I typically will mix them in with each meal. And then I'm going to take the top to this one and put that over there to go in the fridge. And my next one is going to be probably the, hmm, these are kind of big. So let's say, uh, I'll use this one for the strawberries. And once again, we're going to rinse. In cold water. Rinse, 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 rinse. Okay. Let's turn that off. Rinsing my hands off again, y'all. Because y'all know I'm so OCD. <laughs> I am so OCD. Can y'all see me all right? I hope so. All right. Now I'm going to get my paring knife that I like to use to slice up my fruits and stuff again QVC I got the whole set I forgot what it's called it's worn off I've had it so long probably need to get a new set oh, I'm so behind y'all I'm so behind but I pray and hope that everyone's having y'all see these big strawberries three for five dollars yesterday at food line y'all Y'all know they was getting ready for the Memorial Day weekend and everybody makes nice fresh fruit um, desserts. So they're a little big, so I'm going to be dicing them up a little bit. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And I remember this so well. I used to put sugar and water over this, over these strawberries and make that nice yummy syrup. Can't do that anymore, y'all. No, I mean, I can, but I don't. I just eat everything very, very in its natural form because, you know, I don't need anything else spiking my sugar. Now that I found the agave to have my coffee with in the morning, I'm actually taking a bottle with me at work and leaving it at work so I can put that in my coffee at work. Look at that big strawberry, y'all. Holy macamona. <laughs> It's so big. I bought my mom a pack of these too. So they were three for five dollars and I only got two. Because they go bad so fast. I can't eat two of them up fast enough. So hey, where you going? You jumping all out of there? Let me rinse this off. But ouch. I just wanted to Whew. sit here and just enjoy my day off I try not to do too much on Sundays but that never works in my mind I try not to do too much but you know when you work all week long and you get off and you see all this stuff that needs to be done you know you, what are you supposed to do just sit here and ignore it look at that y'all Beautiful, beautiful strawberries. And I stood there for a while picking over these strawberries, y'all. As you know, sometimes on the bottom they'll be all mushy and gushy and yucky. And nah, I had to stand there for a while and pick through them. I didn't open them up or anything. I just turned them upside down and look them all around, trying to make sure I don't see any uh, rotten ones on the side or on the bottom. Cause I don't want nobody opening up messing with mine. So I wouldn't do that to anyone else. Okay, so now we've got the strawberries. And that was the perfect size bowl. Because you really don't want to put anything past that line right there. You can see the inside of the line. You really don't want to put anything past that line to keep it fresh as possible. And so I'm gonna put the appropriate top to that one. And my sister accidentally snapped the thing off of that one but it still seals and keeps fresh and I'm gonna come back and get a smaller bowl for my watermelon because 
I'm already using some of these bowls, but in my refrigerator. One that will probably be appropriate for the watermelon is in the refrigerator with my cabbage in it. So I'm gonna come back and let you guys see the containers that I keep when I buy my lunch meat. So I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, you guys. I hope you guys can see me. I'm back and I got this container which I save when I buy my um, rotisserie chicken or turkey which is usually rotisserie chicken and this is just the one serving and then this one is the one where you get double serving so I think I'm going to use this one for the pineapple if the pineapple is any good and I'm going to use this for these couple of slices of watermelon and we already put the strawberries and the blackberries in the refrigerator because they don't need to be sitting out here while I'm doing this I hope you guys are enjoying watching I'm just filming, filming a day in the life of Sweet Lady J TV. I mean, I love my Dollar Tree, but I gotta mix it up a little bit. So I'm hoping these are really good. This was the last two slices, and I had forgotten them at first. And after I had paid for all my food, I went through the register, and I was like, Oh, I forgot my watermelon. And I went back, and these were the last two. So that's what they look like. I don't want a big, big watermelon because. I just cannot eat a big a watermelon by myself and I'm not even supposed to have this. This is one of my um, no eat fruits for my dietitian. So I only treat myself every now and then to a couple of slices of watermelon. Bananas, watermelon, red grapes, all those are off the list. All my favorite. <laughs> Go figure, right? <laughs> of course they would be all my favorite. That's why I'm a diabetic. <laughs> So, I was sad to hear watermelon and red grapes because y'all know I love those two items. But it's okay. I've already gotten adjusted to it. So I'm just cutting these in squares, little chunks, small enough to go on top of my salad, um, small enough to go on a side plate in a small um, dessert dish to accent, whatever and I love it with my breakfast you know some turkey bacon and fried egg boiled egg whatever when I'm eating my egg salad my tuna fish it's just great to just you know compliment whatever you're eating if you're a fruit nut like me and I love my fruits and veggies mainly greens and I have really learned how now to go to supply line for my fresh vegetables like um, my cabbage and kale and oh my god all that stuff I mean I've been going to the grocery store stressing myself out but you know what you go to supply line man they will hook you up and it's not expensive it's very very affordable so when I get that hankering for me a head of cabbage or two or some collard greens you can get all that stuff fresh there for really really good prices so I'm really stoked about that and I don't have to you know have room to store it because I'm going to get it fresh you know when I want it I'm going to get it fresh so I don't have to buy it put it in the freezer or any of that kind of stuff so that's really nice so I might speed some of this video up y'all because I know it's gonna be really really long all right, that is what my watermelon looks like. Perfect size, okay? And we're just gonna chunk that up and probably just steal a little taste. They also have sliced watermelon at Supply Line too. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord, for letting me get that last slice. <laughs> That watermelon is so sweet, y'all. It tastes just like the watermelon used to when we were kids. Oh my god. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> that is so good. Let me slide. Let me slide over here. Put this in the refrigerator. <laughs> I know y'all think I'm cuckoo. Okay, so I am. Alright, so we're gonna put that in the refrigerator. Alright. 
and now I think we're gonna take a break and then I'm gonna come back and get my salad together. I'll be back guys, bye.